What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. In this episode, I'm going to give my predictions for the first half of The Walking Dead Season 8. So the first eight episodes. Um, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos I'm going to do all about predict predictions for the upcoming season. Um, it'll give us something good to uh, think about and talk about during the break. Um, so I don't know, I'll probably do like one a week, um, every week until we get, you know, really close to, uh, to the premiere and then we'll probably change it up to something else. Okay, so the first eight episodes. Now, the way I wrote these down is assuming that they're going to stick with the same... Um, uh, format that they've been doing with, you know, each episode kind of being isolated to a different area. And unfortunately, I really think that this is the way they're going to go. Uh, I'm starting to feel that it's not necessarily for storytelling as much as I'd like to believe that that's what it is. I think it's more about budget concerns because uh, you don't need to have all the actors show up, blah, blah, blah. So, the way I wrote these down is assuming that we're going to stick to that format. I still believe, even if they change formats, that this is the way it's going to flow, but it would be uh, pieced out differently, you know, throughout the season. So, all right. Um, so I'm going to break it down how I think it's actually going to play out episode to episode. And um, like I said, some of these things may bleed in from one episode to another, and I'm sure the episodes will be a lot more detailed than what I'm going to say. I'm just giving you a basic um, breakdown from my knowledge of the show, from my knowledge of the comics, and just from the way they normally flow these things out from season to season. So we already had a really slow season in 7. So I expect 8 to be a really fast season for at least the first half, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty fast-paced throughout. Um... And I think we're going to get a lot of action. Like, I'm thinking two to three action sequences per half. That's how I'm thinking. All right, let's just get into it. Enough babbling on. Because you know how I get. I'll just go on for days. Okay, uh, episode one. I think this is going to be about Rick and the group saying, you know what? Now that we got Negan on the run, we need to strike. We need to strike fast. And um, we need to... Uh, you know, kind of put the nail in the coffin, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like, get after them quick. Now, it's the 100th episode, the first one of eight. So it's going to be big. I think it's already been announced it's going to be 90 minutes or maybe even two hours, I heard. So we're definitely going to get an action-packed episode. There will be a lot of story. There'll be a lot of dialogue. There'll be slower moments. There always is. But it's going to be a pretty exciting episode um, in my opinion, it's the 100th episode. They got to go big. The 100th issue of the comic, they did the Glenn thing, the Negan introduction. So they went big. So they're going to go bigger because this is the TV show and they have to top the Glenn moment already. You know, the Glenn Abraham moment now it's going to be known as. Okay, uh, so that that's going to be episode one. It's going to be the attack on the sanctuary from the comics. Now... It, I think they're going to do something similar to what they did in season six's premiere, where they kind of flash back and forward, back and forth between the uh, planning of what they were going to do with all the walkers in the pit and the actual uh, execution or, you know, being forced into actually executing the plan early. You know, we flip back and forth with black and white scenes to color. You know, it was like a flashback and a present situation. And I think that's what we're going to get from episode one of season eight is a flash thing where they're planning it out quick, you know, trying to figure out what they're going to do. And then we're going to get them acting it out. Um, how do I think they're going to do it? I think they're those all those walkers that they tracked away in... Uh, in season six, I think they're going to go get them and they're going to bring them to the sanctuary and they're going to let them loose on Negan and the sanctuary, not caring about Eugene, not caring about the innocent people, just saying, you know what, we're going to do this. And I think it's going to serve two purposes in their planning. 
it's going to be one to kill as many saviors as they can or even possibly overrun the sanctuary or two and more importantly to at least delay them so that Rick and group can now uh, kind of take control of the territory real quick, right? Um, so that's what I think the basic is it's going to play out as in season eight. There'll be, you know, a lot of discussion and planning and trying to work it out. There'll probably be some reluctant parties, but um, that's basically what we're going to get. And we might even get some Negan stuff. I, I actually, I think we're going to get some Negan stuff because I think we'll, we'll actually hear both of those speeches play out. Rick's full on comic book speech and Negan's full on um, comic book speech because we didn't get them. We kind of saw them like kind of silenced, you know what I mean? And I think we're going to actually see them play out in those flashback scenes that I'm saying are going to happen. Um, the Like the planning part of it. So, uh, yeah, that's how what I think episode one is going to go. Episode two is going to be, I think, um, all Alexandria. Um, it's going to be them going to either get equipment from the Bullet Factory, but that might be too difficult. So they might just send people to the bullet factory, secure the route around the bullet factory, maybe even bu bullet, you know, booby trap around the bullet factory. Um, but I definitely think that that the bullet factory is going to play a big, big part in in season eight as far as something that the communities want and need to win the war. And uh, I think Rick is going to actually beat Negan to the punch of getting there. Because um, we know Negan knows about it because Eugene blabbed and Eugene is Negan. So he's going to tell him exactly where it is, right? Okay, so um, and then we'll probably get them also maybe even reconning the outposts, planning things out. I think these first two episodes are going to be like the large ensemble. They're going to be like everybody, not, not split up. Um, well, split up, but in each episode, you know, they'll all be in groups doing, uh, you know, carrying out different different plans. Okay, so then episode three, I think is actually going to be back at the sanctuary, the whole episode showing Negan and them dealing with the uh, the walkers that are now surrounding the sanctuary. <clears throat> um, so we'll get to see one thing we haven't seen yet is the saviors get down. With, uh, you know, with anything, really. We haven't really seen the saviors get down and get ill the way we've seen our group get down and just kill walkers and people, like, you know, in the best ways. We haven't seen that at all with the Sanctuary. So I think this episode three will be that. It will be all um, the Sanctuary taking out those walkers. Um, yeah. And then, we'll you know, we'll probably get slow moments inside the sanctuary from like Eugene and uh you know the Dr. Carson probably Dwight you know maybe uh maybe no I think Dwight's going to be at the sanctuary involved in all the Walker things so yep so that's it for episode 3 episode 4 I think we'll find hopefully fingers crossed and this is a big if okay we get Negan's flashback. I'm pretty sure I heard them say that we were getting a Negan backstory. So I, I, a big character like Negan, I don't see them not handling it the way they handled Morgan. So I think they're going to do it the same way they handled Morgan. And it'd be like, uh, you know, um, a 90 minute episode all about Negan and his journey up until the sanctuary. And, and it'll, it'll probably follow the Here's Negan comics pretty closely, I would imagine. And my guess for Maria Bello's casting... Great, fantastic actress, beautiful lady, um, and she's definitely good in everything I've seen her in. She, I believe, is playing Negan's wife. That's my opinion. I think she's going to be a one-off, just like how uh, uh, the guy that played Eastman, John Carroll Lynch, great actor, was a one and done. I think it's going to be the same thing for Maria Bello's character. Um, and, and if it, if that's the case, then it won't follow the Here's Negan story exactly because she's only in it for a little bit. So it'll probably be a little bit more drawn out than that, I guess. Okay, then I got episode five. We'll be back at Hilltop. And now I think Gregory will be back at Hilltop. I'm not going to go into specifics, maybe for a later video. Um, so we'll be back at Hilltop. And it'll be Maggie and Gregory and the Hilltoppers, um, you know, preparing to defend the Hilltop, I think. We'll get 
a big butting of heads between Gregory and Maggie, where he's not going to want them to do the things that Maggie's doing. And, of course, she's going to do them anyway. Um, I believe that he will be outed as a traitor. Probably not in this episode, probably in episode one. But um, that's going to be a big storyline, I think, in episode five. Episode five, four, four and five, I think will be slower episodes because they're going to be more character storytelling stuff. Um, then episode six, I'm trying to wrap this up quick, guys. I'm almost done. Episode six, we got, I think it's going to be two separate groups and an attack on two outposts. I think it's going to be Gavin's outpost and Simon's outpost are going to get attacked. Now, are those, are all those saviors there or are they at the sanctuary? I don't know, but it seems like those two groups, seems like all the outpost groups don't really go to the sanctuary. I've never seen Simon or Gavin there or anyone from their uh, their groups. So I think they just live in the sanctuary. I mean, sorry, but they don't live in the sanctuary. They live in their outpost. So I think we're going to get those two attacks on the outpost. And I do believe, I don't want to spoil anything in this video about it. I think I'm spoiling enough comic stuff. But I think um, a fan favorite character will die in episode six um and it will be traumatic for another character who will get their story play out and i think we're gonna get some slow moments in that because uh you know you need that some emotional moments in this episode episode six and i believe it'll be two uh attacks and or maybe one of the attacks is on the junkyard we can't forget about the junkyard people because they're enemies now. So we can't forget about them either. So they're going to come into play too. Um, maybe not as much in the first half. Um, I got some ideas for the second half. Which will be another video. Um, Alright so. And, and I do think in, in episode 7. Maybe we'll even get a quick Ezekiel flashback. Like we got for Abraham. Where it wasn't like a whole episode. It was just you know a short little segment. And maybe I think. Possibly we'll get that for Ezekiel in episode um, 7, which I think will be uh, either back at the kingdom or back at Alexandria. I'm leaning more towards Alexandria. I think we'll spend more time in Alexandria this first half than any of the other um, communities. So I'm guessing more back at Alexandria. Another slow episode. It's them dealing with the fallout of the outpost and the people that they lost and... Um, I, and I guess maybe preparing for defense against Negan, or maybe they're preparing to go out again after Negan. But also remember, they're going to need supplies. They're going to need guns. They're going to need weapons. They're going to need to check on the people at the other communities and, and defend the other communities too. So they're going to need to do all these things. So I can see episode seven being where they kind of split up a little bit. Um, to send some of the fighters back to hill, you know, uh, hilltop. Well, they probably did that already. Actually, I'll say they probably already sent some good fighters back to hilltop and back to kingdom. Um, yeah, but I do think we'll spend a good amount of time in Alexandria and, like I said, possibly the kingdom and uh, like uh, maybe even the Ezekiel flashback. This will be a slower episode. Um, but I think an optimistic one where the group feels like now. They're, they have the upper hand. So it's going to be the group at this all-time high. And um, I think it's going to end with a friggin' grenade coming flying over the gate. Ba-boom! And then we'll get a big episode 8. And now, I, I know there's an argument to say, well, if we're getting a big episode 1, we probably won't get a big episode 8. And that may be true. And that's why I say, you know, these are just light predictions because... I can see them holding off the grenade attack till the second half of the season. So, you know, take it for what you will. But the way I got it written out is episode 8 will be Negan's grenade attack. He probably will have the junkyard and a number of people with him. And um, I believe we'll get some death. We'll get a comic book moment with a, character, a different character having Heath's fate where um, a limb gets blown off. And I personally believe that that will be Morgan. Not because they're both black dudes, but because uh, the way I see Morgan's story playing out throughout this season, which I'll get to, I guess, in the second half, that will be very important, having that injury. Um, so, and Alexandria will be destroyed. Uh, but Negan's forces will be fought away again. 
some saviors will die, as well as some of our group. It will be a huge battle. Now, like I said, this battle may not happen until the first episode of the second half, so episode 9. Um, and if that's the case, then we'll get in the middle here, we'll get something uh, where they're scavenging, having to go out and get food and supplies and guns. Because remember, they still need that stuff. So I can see that happening. I could totally see episode where I have episode 8 being episode 9. And then, you know, it changing up a little bit. But that's pretty much it. And then it's going to end with them heading off to uh, Alexandria or, I mean, to the hilltop with Alexandria being destroyed, or it's going to end in the middle and fans are going to be pissed off, like with No Way Out, where it kind of cut in an important scene. So I can see that happening too, where it ends kind of in the middle of the battle before the saviors get in the, sanct in the Alexandria or, or right before the group really starts fighting back. Um, I can, you know, I can see it going that way too. So... Like I said, these are my light predictions. There's going to be pre plenty more predictions to come. I know this video has been pretty long, 15 and a half. So um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, the next video that I'll probably follow this one up with is going to be the second half predictions. Um, and like I said, there'll be all types of prediction style videos, you know, throughout the summer. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for this one. You guys have a great day and I will see you. Where's that mouse? <laughs> I will see you next time. I hate editing, man. I really do. <laughs>